What is the relationship between spirituality, divinity, and sinful nature? When God created man, he created his physical body. God breathed into man's nostrils, and then man received spirituality. This signifies that the spirituality of humanity is given by God. Therefore, the Bible says that we are all children of God. Our spirituality makes it possible for us to connect with the Father and to be aware of God's existence. If we liken divinity to gold, then Jesus, who only possesses divinity, is just like pure gold. In reality, humans also have divinity. Humans are like gold mines containing gold, while the other substances in the gold mines are like the sinful nature in humans. The gold in gold mines is completely the same as pure gold. Therefore, it can be said that humans also possess divinity. In fact, spirituality is divinity. But because humans are a mixture of divinity and sinful nature, the divinity in humans is called spirituality. Christ is the best role model. Therefore, only Christ is called the Son, while the other humans or angels cannot be called the Son for now. Children of God possess divinity. Children of humans possess human nature, and children of beasts possess beast nature. Both human nature and beast nature contain sinful nature, but the sinful nature in beasts is more deeply ingrained. Does Jesus have human nature? It's inaccurate and inappropriate to say that Jesus has human nature. First, we should understand what is human nature. In human nature, there are compassion and righteousness, as well as greed and sin. Compassion and righteousness are the divine side of humanity, while greed and sin are the sinful side. Therefore, human nature is a mixture of divinity and sinful nature. Jesus doesn't have sinful nature. He only possesses divinity. Therefore, we can't say that Jesus has human nature.